guess who's back in LA? Hi guys, I am so freaking happy. It's the start of sister summer in Los Angeles. I got back yesterday, today is Sunday, I'm wearing a new dress, I'm going to toast with my friends. Me and Squirtle made it back safely, I'm so happy. And I've already seen people I saw like my friends last night, but I'm gonna get to see them for toast right now. I haven't seen Ollie yet, so I'm going to Uber to pick up Ollie. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing really quick. I missed my mirror for outfit shots so much. I realized when I got back, I was just like, this is a solid. This is a very solid lighting in the bathroom and outfit for mirror shots. So I'm wearing this new dress that's from Mink Pink. It has like a halter strap and another strap. I'm wearing this floppy hat because my hair color is so tragic lately that I actually, I tried to wear it in like a ponytail and it was just so bad. My roots are terrifying. So I think I'm just gonna be rocking hats for a while. And then these shoes are from Topshop. So I will see you guys at Toast. Happy International Toast Reunitation Day. <laughs> Reunitation. Happy Toast to all of you. Guys, I'm I am back with my people. All of you. Kelly Beard. Megan Beard. Have a cupcake Let's day. Have here. a cupcake Drew Dale in the air. And I am here. And we are back. We're living. We are back. I know, I didn't realize that. My nail matches everything. Have a cupcake day. It's my phone. <laughs> Have a good thing day. My little napkin thingy said a little inspiring thing as well. Happy is a way of life. Oh, this, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're I love so mine. cute. Mine, mine so says, cute. Live, laugh, love. Kind of just oh. Mine says live by faith. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. Yeah. love. Yeah. I love toast. Have a cupcake day. I mean, that's the only thing we want you to get out of this right now. But we haven't, we haven't gotten our foods yet. But this is. Oh, I think it's here. I'm excited. It's time. Thank you. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. I just ordered literally two minutes ago and my caprice is here. Caprice, caprice, it's here. Yep, yep. I'm home now. I am listening to Born to Die on vinyl, which is incredible on vinyl. I am about to open a couple of packages. I got so much stuff, packages, when I was gone that I didn't even, it was, it was so exciting to come home to. Um, I had a ton of packages here yesterday that like my neighbor Justin and then Megan got for me. And um, I opened those all up yesterday, so I have a lot of stuff, so I'm going to do a haul. I got this dress and a bunch of other good stuff. It's like beauty stuff and um, just stuff that I want to do a haul. So that will be probably the next video that I film. Woo, adult things. So I'm gonna open this stuff. Exciting things. I got my 21 Pilots ticket for this month, it's the next show I'm going to. Hi, there's a weird like glare from my mirror right here, but I am about to get ready, do my makeup, and do my hair. I'm going to a comedy show tonight. I'm going to see Louis C.K. with my friend Justin, and I'm pretty excited. So we're leaving in a little bit. I need to get myself ready. I'm pretty much ready now. Did my hair, did my makeup, and I'm about to heat up some food the rest of my toast leftovers because it was so incredible still listening to born to die um i have a little pan going i'm going to reheat my fries as well as my la cafe fries from postmates from last night i literally bought i think it's a cast iron skillet or something specifically for reheating french fries because no french fries reheated in the microwave doesn't work it's like such a fail so this was one of the best purchases I've ever made, honestly. I'm gonna do this. Squirtle looks like he wants to kill me. I have absolutely no idea, you guys. I feel like, I feel like he's sad. I feel like the adjustment is weird. I know he hates being in the apartment alone when I leave. He hasn't been alone in a while, like at my house. He was always stimulated by either my mom or my other dogs. So it makes me really sad. Um, if you guys have, like I, I give him stuff to do. First of all, I put on the vlogs. I put on, sorry for the siren. I put play me and Megan's vlogs on the TV for him so he can hear our voices and I give him like a little Kong toy with peanut butter in it because that's like his favorite thing and I give him toys and stuff but I just feel like he is he gets stressed out and about when I'm gonna come back and he's always been this way it's not just like a new thing but I hate it because it's just like I do live alone so no one's here for him when I leave you know what I mean it's like he can't come everywhere with me but he comes wherever he can come for some places obviously dogs aren't allowed let me know if you guys have like tips for dogs with separation anxiety because I just feel like this little guy gets really sad sometimes and 
I love him and I want him to be the happiest doggy possible. I think it's just been hard because he was hanging out with my mom so much and he bonded really, really well with my mom and I think he's missing her and just being confused because he was there for so long. Um, so it probably is a hard adjustment, but yeah. back at my apartment I wasn't able to film any of the comedy show I went to unfortunately I wasn't even supposed to bring my camera which I didn't know there was like no recording and no phones allowed but I saw Louis CK it was so good like I laughed my ass off and he had like three openers as well two guys and a girl and they were all so funny as well it was just a really well-run show like i've honestly never been to a real comedy show and it was at the forum in inglewood and so it was like a really big venue like that's where i went to see the vmas so there was so many people there it was just hilarious like he has absolutely no boundaries and like no filter but I really enjoy his style of comedy. So I'm so happy that I went and got like some laughs. I feel like I needed it. Um, I don't go to stuff like that, like I said, at all. I just go to a lot of concerts, but it was really well run. Like there was no intermission between any of the acts. They all just went back to back to back. And he went on for a really long time. Now I reheated again for the second time today. <laughs> my fries and my, I'm eating like the rest of, oh, ew, <laughs> my wrap. I guess it just exploded here <laughs> from LA Cafe from last night. Megan's about to come by. I don't think I heated these up for long enough. Megan's about to come by and um, get some stuff that she left here. Talk to you later. I'm in my bed. I am about to pass out. It feels, may I just say, so incredible to be in my bed after like two months i always forget that my bed here is so fucking comfortable like it is a giant marshmallow i swear my mattress pad from amazon is the greatest thing i don't even know what, exactly what it's called but it's just, like incredible like temper beatic feeling mattress cover if you guys don't have one of these for your bed i cannot suggest enough invest recommend enough I don't know what I'm saying. Investing in one, I think this one's like 70 or $80 from Amazon, but for like a queen or a full, so not too crazy. Oh my gosh, my bed at home just can't compete. I need to get one of these for my bed at home since I am there like enough to need this in my life. I'm going to pass out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog today and seeing the friends. I hope it was long enough today. I don't really know how many clips I got. I think it was a decent length. So I'll be vlogging on Tuesday again, which I am excited about. I don't really have any plans for right now, but we'll see. I love you guys so much. Thumbs up if you're happy that I'm back in LA because I am so happy. And thumbs up if you're just excited for Sister Summer continuing and to see what the rest of this month holds and I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. I love you, bye.